Welcome to My Counselor Online. I'm Josh Spurlock, Certified Sex Therapist. And in this video, we're talking about women's sexual desire, wives' sexual desire. Uh, to begin with, you should know that men and women are different. Now, that's probably not a news flash to you or something shocking. But when it comes to sex, we oftentimes have this misconception that female sexual desire is supposed to look like male sexual desire and that if it doesn't, there's something wrong or something broken. But that's just not the case. God designed men and women different on purpose, and that's complementary to each other. But if we're going to understand those differences in a way that prevents conflict, we really have to work to get ourselves into the shoes of each other. And what you're gonna find, or what you're probably gonna find, is that if you're a woman, maybe you're not broken. Maybe your experience is very similar to other women, and that uh, what you're going through is, is fairly normal or the, in the conflict that it's creating within your relationship may be normal and avoidable in that. If you're a man, you may realize that your wife is really normal in her experience of her sexuality and that the answer is not for her to be more like you, but the answer is for both of you to better understand her experience of sexuality and how to cultivate a really healthy sex life between the two of you. So let's get started. The premise is that for many women, and that desire is not the cause of lovemaking, that it's the result, what we call receptive desire versus initiating desire. That while uh, it is normal and common for women to experience a interest, or think about sex and an interest that's spontaneous and connecting sexual in early in relationships or after being in separation or some sort of relational trauma or disconnect uh, between husband and wife to experience that thinking about sex and initiating desire, that women in long-term relationships frequently don't think about sex or rarely think about sex and fairly infrequently experience an initiating desire or desire to pursue and connect sexually. For men, this tends to be pretty foreign. They're like, well, I don't understand that at all because it's not part of our experience. But for women, their motivation for pursuing and connecting sexually very oftentimes isn't because they're horny. For men, usually the motivation for connecting and pursuing sex is I feel horny and so I desire to express that sexual tension through connecting with my wife sexually. But for a wife, very often, that uh, sense of physical desire and arousal doesn't come until after we're already engaged in a sexual connection. And so the real question becomes not, uh, you know, how do we uh, create a, a sexual uh, desire or interest within a woman, but instead, what are the kinds of interactions that arouse a woman enough to sufficiently be able to experience sexual desire. That is, what are the kinds of touching? What are the kinds of relational things, right? That uh, men and women will communicate that there's, there's really nothing hotter than seeing their husband playing with their kids, kind of rolling around on the floor. And that just weirds men out. They're like, what does that even mean? But what it conveys is that emotional connectedness relational connectedness as a significant driver for female sexual uh, desire in that, that there are elements that influence female sexual desire that are, are not physical in nature. And then if we don't understand the non-physical aspects and drivers, accelerators for female sexual desire, we're going to have real difficulty navigating uh, female sexual desire. In another article, uh, I walk through the top 10 reasons why uh, women don't want sex. And we're gonna get into the details of what some of those breaks or blocks are and how to overcome them. But in this article, as you read through, get into detail in some of the research, you know, hopefully what you come away with is an understanding that uh, women's experience of sexual desire is different than men that's on purpose by God's design, and it doesn't have to be the bane of our existence, either as a wife or as a husband, that if we will get into each other's shoes and learn to understand ourself, that we can learn how to navigate that in a way that allows us to have a really robust, passionate, fun, healthy, playful, uh, mutually enjoyable sexual relationship 
that brings strength to us and that we look forward to uh, and join in sharing together. That's what I have for you for this video. Until next time, be blessed and keep loving life. Thank you.